Celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. Welcome to Major News from Habian TV, Correspondent Office, Oshobo, Washington, Nigeria. I am Kuala Olushona. First, the headlines. Federal government said to evacuate Nigerians stranded in Moscow, Russia, after the end of the 2018 World Cup tournament. Independent National Electoral Commission says. It was limited in its capacity to stop forced buying and justify the 242 billion naira proposal to conduct 2019 election. And for instance, U.S. President Donald Trump has invited Russian President Vladimir Putin to Washington for a summit in October. Now the details. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has said that Nigerians stranded in Moscow, Russia, at the end of the 2018 World Cup tournament would be evacuated. The ministry's spokesperson, Dr. Tope Elias Fatibi, in a statement in Abuja said over 230 stranded Nigerians have been cleared to board an Ethiopia airline flight to Abuja. He said that the development was equal to Mr. President's directive that stranded Nigerians in Russia be evacuated with immediate effect. According to him, the military and Nigerian mission in Moscow, in collaboration with the Ministry of Aviation, have been monitoring the process of the evacuation. President Mohamed Buhari has recently met with members of parliamentary support group as part of efforts to build synergy, consensus on national issues to find solutions to social, economic and security challenges facing the country. The Secretary to the Government of Federation, Mr. Mustafa, stated this when he faced question from Newsman after the closed door meeting between the president and members of the group at Asur of Abuja. Boss Mustafa, who described the meeting as an encouraging interface between the legislature and the executive said the meeting was for the betterment of the nation. President Mohamed Obari again declared the alleged delay in the passage of the 2018 appropriation bill by the National Assembly. The president said he hoped the legislative will give the next budget a speedy treatment. Bukhari spoke at the opening session of the first National Assembly Open Week held in Abuja, where he was represented by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa. The president noted that the importance of oversight activities of the legislature to ensure its efficiency equitable and the judicial use of resources to bring about the delivery of service by the executive. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INE, has disclosed that about 305,059 permanent photos cards, PFC, were yet to be collected by the, by the electorate in Ocean States. INE director of Photos Education, Publicity, Gender, and CSO, Fenev Akin or Jewande, disclosed this as a program organized by a non government organization in Oshobo, the state capital. He said the old and new PVC in the Hinek office were 1,685,468, while a total number of 605,059 were yet to be collected. Speaking at the program, Oje one day led media to learn from the sanction of its broadcasting service by the Nigerian Broadcasting Cooperation NBC and desist from announcing the sort of election before official declaration. 
Similarly, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has said it was limited in its capacity to stop fault buying and justify the 242 billion naira proposal to conduct 2019 election. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakub, the INEC Director of Publicity and Photo Education, Mr. Luwale Ozaze Uzi, while speaking with newsmen, said the Commission had taken several steps since the issue of votes by drew national attention during, Ed during Edo State's governorship election in 2016. He said why it was the responsibility of the Commission to prosecute those who defend the electoral laws, including those involved in the heart of inducements during elections. He confessed that the Commission does not have the power to arrest, saying it is the duty which is meant for security agencies. The Transparency International, the Social Economy Rights and Accountability Project, ZERA, and the Transition Monitoring Group has condemned for buying during governorship election in Nikita State. The group said fault buying had endangered the country's democracy and could affect the credibility of the election. They said this just as the police service commission stated that it had received 35 complaints bordering on fault buying, financial inducement, and aggressiveness in some polling units during last Saturday against the governorship election. The world that says what man can do a women can do better show forth during a primary election held by Restoration Party of Nigeria, Ocean State Chapter, ahead of September 22's gubernatorial election in Ocean State, where a woman, Mrs. Messi Ayudile, emerged as the flag bearer of the Restoration Party of Nigeria here in Ocean State. The details of the report is presented from our studio. The atmosphere was peaceful and calm as the Restoration Party of Nigeria, known as RPN, held their primary election at SC Guest House, a Lake Wado area, Ushobo, Oson State Capital, where Mrs. Mercy Ayodele emerged as the winner on a post. During the election, 31 delegates voted, but two votes was foiled. Speaking at the event, the representative of the RPN party, national chairman, who is also the national publicity of the party, Mr. Nwachuku Kingsley, thanks the party members for their cooperation, support, and assure them that the party will win in the forthcoming gubernatorial election in the state of Asun. Um, is one of the best in the country, being the fact that we have chosen a woman, a woman a woman from uncommon background. We have chosen her in the sense that if you look at what is happening in the country, the women are politically marginalized. And I call them uh, politically endangered species because they have not been given the opportunity to come to the limelight politically. There are so many things, there are so many things that had held them bound, among which include social, political itself, economic, and religion. So we have gone beyond that to elect her as our own flag bearer. We pray by the grace of God that during the election and she will merge the governor of Washington State. All right, the entire event was actually consensus. Why did you ask for a consensus? No other candidate? No, the, the other person had to step down. Doing things differently, we are bringing so many things to the table in the sense that this is a new party and the members are young people who will think outside the bus. We are thinking outside the bus. We are here to bring industrialization to the country. We are here to reduce unemployment through our policies which will be implemented from the up to the down. This will ensure youth unemployment reduction. Also speaking at the event was the flag bearer of the party, Mrs. Mercy Ayodele, who shared the motion behind our contesting for the election and promised to deliver our promises when voted in as the governor of the state of Osun. And as a responsible mother at home, we can all agree with me that 
a mother we cook, we dish out the food for all the children, the father, and even the visitor before taking into consideration herself. So that is a mother. So I'm bringing in the power of a woman into this. Well, partially I've been in politics for long, but I'm taking it up fully. Where we are going to use our strategies, the market women are there, and all the other women, the youth are also behind us, and the elderly one, because we use the might of the elders. Ezekiel Yadewoli reporting for ABN News. Direct election mode as a means of conducting primary election of the Awful Fairs Congress, APC, will not only deepen the democratic values, but helps in train up a credible, suitable, and a popular choice. Chairman, Forum of Senior Special Assistants to the Governor of the State of Oshun, Alaji Bashri Lawa, stated this at a press conference held at Awolowo Center, Oshobo, the state capital. The report is completed from our studio. The Forum of Senior Special Assistance to the Governor of the State of Osun commended the decision of the National Working Committee of the All Progressive Congress Party. In settling for direct election addressing the press, the Chairman Forum of the Senior Special Assistance to the Governor, Alaji Basir Rawa, said the party determined the governorship election on September 22nd this year and will now relent in the interest of continuing Governor Rauf Aregbesola's good work in the state. 2018. For the avoidance of doubt, the Forum of Senior Special Assistance to the Governor is an unprecedented political group formed in the interest of taking our state to greater heights. First and foremost, we commend the decision of the National Working Committee. NWC of our party in settling for the direct election mode for Thursday primary election. As we all know, direct primary helps in throwing up credible, suitable, and a popular choice. For a fact, indirect primary negates the democratic credentials upon which a progressive party like us thrives. As a party, determined to win the governorship election on September 22, 2018, in the overall interest of committing, of continuing Governor Raul Farag Bashalagu's work in our state, embracing direct primary will not only deepen our democratic values, in line with our Omalu Abi ethos, it will also and inevitably to reduce the scourge of corruption which has eaten to the deep in the fabric of our society. Also, the forum addressed the, the issue, the call to conceal the governorship slot of the party to a particular zone. Speaking on the development, Chairman Senior Special Assistant on Media, Alaji Basir Lawa, said the program ideal of the party is picking a worthy candidate for the party, saying East or West, North or South, competent, suitable, and party choice are core values of the progressive politics thrive on the principle of democratic centralism. Speaking on the crisis confronting the party on the issue of suspending the chairman of the APC party, Prince Bey Gafa Modun, and his secretary, Fatai Salinsile, the senior special assistant to the governor of media, Barista Kuli Oyatomi said, the state working committee is 40 in number, saying, out of 40, only 11 in number member of the committee are behind the siege of suspending the chairman and the secretary, saying, this is not in line with the party constitution from this side of the table, we hope uh, to do it as fast as possible. Ezekiel Adewale reporting for ABN News. The Nigerian Governance Forum has congratulated Dr. Kayo Defeyemi on his victory in the last Saturday's governorship election in Nikiti State. In a statement by the head, Media and Public Affairs, Nigerian Governance Forum. Secretariat Abdul Rasak Bankido, the forum, the forum through his chairman, Governor Abdul Aziz Yari of San Francisco, said election are usually held the contest 
that determine who keeps the mantle of leadership in the state of a certain period of time and not a fatal and vanquished affair. Jari said all contestants, regardless of their party manifestos, are primarily agents of governors that wish to move the welfare and well-being of their people to the next level. He added that since the people of the state had spoken, the governor elect who must show humility and courage and congratulated the outgoing governor for year for four years ago, should this time around also be magnanimous in factory by expressing by expressing his desire to govern Ekiti for the benefit of all, while wishing the outgoing governor of Ekiti State, Mr. Yodile Fayoshi, luck in his new endeavor, and stating that the Nigerian Governance Forum will miss its invaluable contributions at its meetings. He also welcomed the incoming governor to the forum to which he is returning as a ranking and experienced member. And on foreign scene, U.S. President Donald Trump has invited Russian President Vladimir Putin to Washington for a summit in October. The White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders said in a tweet that Trump asked his national security advisor John Bolton to extend the invitation to Russian leader. Sanders announced the invitation less than an hour after the Republican-led Senate effectively rebuked President Donald Trump for considering Russian request to question U.S. officials. The death toll for a suicide attack on an election rally in Pakistan's southwestern Balochistan province on Friday's high to 149, putting it among the deadliest attack in the South Asian nation's history. As campaigning stepped up for general election on July 25, bombings across Pakistan have stopped fears of more violence in the country of 208 million where political rallies can draw tens of thousands of people. Friday's attack at a rally for the Balochan Awami Party, BAP, outside the town of Mastom, was claimed by a militant group, Islamic State. Among the dead was the party's provincial candidate, Sinaj Raisani. A video clip showed Raisani beginning his speech just before the attack. Greetings crowds seated on the ground under a large stand before the blast hit and the image cut off. And before we wrap, and before we end the major news from ABN TV correspondent office of Shugu, Washington, Nigeria, we are again at the recap. Federal government said to evacuate Nigerians stranded in Moscow, Russia after end of the 2018 World Cup tournament. We told you that in XA it was limited. We told you that Independent National Electoral Commission says it was limited in its capacity to stop Fort Bank and justify 242 billion naira proposal to conduct 2019 election. And for instance, we told you that U.S. President Donald Trump has invited Russian President Vladimir Putin to Washington for a summit in October. And that ends the major news from ABN TV Correspondent Office, which of Washington, Nigeria. Hey, I'm Bukola Odushola. Thank you so much for watching. Celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage.